So yes. you can continue reading these words. Then I will give you the meanings for the commonly used words. Okay. So can you read? Uh, kala, kalam, oka, ekam, kancham, ekam, kancham, kancham, kan, kanta, kanta, banka, banka, okay, vankara. Vankara, okay. Kavacham. Kavacham, okay. Karanam. Karanam. Taka taka. Okay. Kana. Kankanam. Kanam, kanam, kankanam. Okay. Kampa. Kampa. Pankacham. Okay. Ekaram. Okay. Kaksha. Okay. Laksha. Kshanam. Kshanam. Okay. Takshanam. Takshanam. Bhakshanam. Bhakshanam. Okay. Kshama. Pankam. Okay. Kalata. Sakalam. Sakalam. Uh, rakam. Chaka chaka. Okay. Paka paka. Paka paka, okay. Raksha, Rakshana. Raksha, Rakshana, okay. Uh, let me give you the meanings for some of the words. Kala. Actually, this Kala is dream. Kala means dream, okay. Uh, kalam is pen. Oka means first. One. One. Uh, actually, there is a difference between Okati and and one. One means Vokati. First means Vokatawa. Okay. Uh, uh, means Oka. These are the variations. For example, a banana, a banana, Oka Arati Pandu. Okay. Okati means one. Okay. First means Vokatawa. What's the difference between Okatawa and Okato? Ah, actually, Wokato is a short form of Wokatawa. Wokato number, rendo number, like that they say, but the full word is Wokatawa. But in spoken language, people just make it short, like Wokato, like that. But Wokatawa is the standard word. Okay. Wokati one, then the previous one, a uh, Woka. Right. Uh, yekam, kan okay, Kancham. Kancham means plate. <laughs> The plate which we eat uh, rice or any food item. Plate. Okay. And next we have banka. Banka means gum or glue. Okay. Uh, next vankara. Vankara means like mm, bent. The one which is in bent shape. Like you know in karu shape. Vankara. For example, the pen, usually in Telugu we say there is a pen, pen vankara koyindi or writing. When, when somebody is writing, they start from here, but they come down, vankara. So it is called bent, like not being in straight line, like, like that. Okay. Next. Um, Laksha. Laksha means, I think you know. Do you know Laksha? Like one lakh. Yeah, one lakh. Lakh, lakh. Okay. Shanam means? Second. Oh, yeah, one second. Second, yes. Are you writing or skipping? If you know already, I think it's okay. Yeah, you can skip mm -hmm. that one. Rakam. Rakam means type. Or kind, which type, what kind, sometimes we say like that. Okay, that one. Paka paka. Paka paka means like, you know, a child, when he or she laughs, it gives some kind of sound. Paka paka, like a kind of smile, a, a kind of laughing. Paka paka. Rakshana means protection. 
not rakshanam it is rakshana only no am protection so let's go to the next set of words or page okay yeah we, here we have some more words you can continue reading then we'll see the important vocabulary shankham okay mukham okay khananam okay sharam Shasha. Asha. Ashana. Ashasa. Ashamsa. Ashamsa. Shankha. Ashankha. Kala. Kala Kala. Kala Kala. Tala Tala. Galam. Galam. Mangalam. Mangalam. Shankara. Shankar. Okay. Uh, mukham means face. Mukham. Okay. So next we have Khananam. Khananam, it is something like, you know, when someone dies, uh, for example, animal or anything, sometimes we put under the earth, like, you know, digging and keeping. So it is uh, bury or what do you call in English? Oh, burial. Uh, yeah. grave yeah. yeah that one that is called khananam okay. asha asha means hope okay uh, let's make some sentences because this is commonly used word okay i hope i hope means can you try the translation nakasha mm, only actually I hope na kashamdi it's okay. But in a sentence, usually nenu ashistunanu. Nenu ashistunanu. You can write there. I hope you are doing well. Mir bagum narani nenu ashistunanu. I hope. This means I hope. Okay. So in the long sentence, you can say, I hope you are doing well. Miru bagun narani. Doing doing well, it is like you know, dadam, fine. Okay. Miru bagun narani. Nenu ashistun nanu. I hope you are doing well. Or you are fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So the one which we mentioned above, asha, hope, it is just a noun. But when we convert that one into verb, we get these type of sentences like ashistun nanu. Um, sometimes we use Asha as a noun also where we sometimes you know uh, that's my hope that's my hope Adina Asha here it is noun only but in the above two sentences we made like a verb Adina Asha that's my hope So here it is noun, not a verb. Okay, let's go back to the words. Uh, next we have. Okay, this color. Earlier we mentioned color, normal law, that is dream. But this one, art. This color means art. Okay, so next we have. Uh, yeah, these are not commonly used words. Okay, let's go. Let's move forward. I am skipping these letters because you know already. Okay, uh, read the following sentences. Uh, okay, can you read? Adi Amiti, Adi Bala. Uh, balla, know, you need to emphasize it because double L is there. Balla. Adi Balla. Okay. Aina Evaru. Iena Naraina. Okay. Aina Evaru. Iena Naraina. Okay, okay, same thing. Yeah, same. Ame Usha. Ime Sarala. Uh, Hari Evaru Hari 
Malayala Vidyarthi. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maria. Now here I want to convey something. Malayalam, this is the language name. Okay. But when we say Telugu Vidyarthi, Malayalam, Malayal, Mal, Malayalam Vidyarthi, like that, we don't say am sound, Malayala Vidyarthi, like that. Similarly, Tamil Vidyarthi becomes Tamila Vidyarthi, like that. We change. Okay, you can read these things also. Namaskaram Andi Vijayagaru Naperu Raman 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 Narasimha Raman Narasimha Raman Narasimha Raman Narasimha Namaskaram Andi Vijayagaru Okay Naperu Rama Narasimha They mentioned Okay uh, next, we have write the following and replace and underline words with Telugu letters. Okay, this is a writing activity you can do later. Okay, um, but uh, shall we discuss the meaning or are they understandable? I think they are understandable. You know already. Let's skip. Yeah, next, we have uh, next lesson is Snehitudi Illu, friend's house. So similarly, uh, I want to discuss here when there is apostrophe, okay, we use possessive pronoun, possessive type of thing, okay, like his atadi, okay, he friends. Uh, similarly, Rama Rao's house means Rama Rao illu or Rama Rao yokka illu. Apostrophe means yokka or if we use pronoun, possessive pronoun, it becomes like this. Snehi to do becomes snehi to d like that. Okay. But remember, we don't use the meaning of apostrophe yokka in the spoken language. We just skip. For example, Ramesh house. Ramesh yokka illu. This can be used in written language. But when we come to the spoken language, we just say Ramesh illu. That's all. Okay, so Papa with the Jawahar Lal Nehru photo. This is a photograph of Jawaharlal Nehru. So photograph of Jawaharlal Nehru means Jawaharlal Nehru Yoka photograph. But Yoka we can skip, not necessary. Okay, just we can say Jawaharlal Nehru photo. It means this. Iyana Tandri Peru Moti Lal. His father's name. Ah, uh, he ikar chudandi. Tandri Peru, father's name. So it is not necessary to use, uh, like you to modify every time. Sometimes we just uh, use without any modification, like we did Snehi to D. Okay, father's name, Tandri Peru. So, are most of these, like most of the nouns, do they not take that mod modification only if it has the do suffix? It'll take the modification or you have. So for the ones that don't have the do suffix, then you have the option of using yoka for that apostrophe. Yes. Is that yes. Okay. But but uh, remember yoka we don't use in the spoken yeah, language. Not. So it is not necessary. But in the written language, we use sometimes yoka. Tali Peru Swaruparani. His mother's name is Swaruparani. Here, mother's name means Tali Peru. No modification at all. Mother means Tali. Mother's also Tali. Okay. Name means Per. Next. Kamala Jawaharlal Nehru Bharya. Kamala is Jawaharlal Nehru's wife. So here also no change. Jawaharlal Nehru Bharya. Wife means Bharya. Okay. Next we have here. Indira is Jawaharlal, Jawaharlal Nehru's daughter. So here also no change. Jawaharlal Nehru, Hutu. Daughter means Huturu. Okay, Huturu. Ame Motilal Manavararu. She is Motilal's granddaughter. So granddaughter means Manavararu. 
Okay, you can you read this this sentence? Okay. Ame Bharata Peru Piroj Gandhi. Firoz Gandhi. Okay. Firoz Gandhi. Okay. Her husband's name is Firoz Gandhi. So here the new vocabulary is husband. Bharata. Husband means Bharta. Husband's name means Bharta Peru. Okay, read this one. Rajiv Indira Gandhi Odoku. Yeah. Uh, Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi. Because Ra has one. Indira Gandhi Kodoku. So here the new vocabulary word is Sun. Sun means Kodoku. Ayana Nehru Manavadu. He is Nehru's grandson. So here the new word is grandson. Grandson means Manavadu. Next we have uh, Ramamurti. He is telling Ra Vinod Ide Nas Come Vinod. Come means Ra. This is means Ikachuandi. Uh, this means Ide. But here we use Ide. So Ide we use to emphasize this is the one like that. Okay. So you can say. But when we use this one ide while showing the hand, okay, instead of telling idi nas nehi we can say ide like emphasizing, not this one, not that one, ide like that. So ide, ade, it emphasizes the thing which we are showing, okay. Ide nas nehi Similarly, we can also say itade. Itadu plus ye itade. Ime plus ye ime. For example, there are three people. We are showing one person. Then we can say itade or ime like that. So this is my friend's house. Ide na snehituri ilu. Here we have changed. See here. Friend means snehitudu. Male only. Okay, for female, yeah. snake alu. Okay, when we say friends apostrophe s, yes, snake to do becomes snake to d. Also, for female, it will, it will become snake to ra li. Snake to ra li. Okay, illu means house, home also house, home also same illu. Uh, next, we have e papa yabaru. Who is this girl? Okay, we have another word for the word girl that is Ammai. Ammai. Ammai means girl. Papa also girl. If, uh, okay, let's have some practice. If I say, who is this boy? Can you try to translate? Yes. So, Abbai or Ammai, boy or girl, those are the words, combination words. But if you say Papa, the combination word is, can you try? If I say the combination word. Babu, okay, let me help you. Babu, okay. Papa, oh, Babu. girl chain. Oh, Babu. Babu, boy chain, like that. Okay. Papa, girl, Babu, boy. Equal to Ammai, Ammai. So, in this context, if I say, who is this boy? You can say, Ye Babu Yavaru. That is another variation. Uh, the spelling of Ammai is wrong. Uh, it it's is, wrong. Okay. I, will, I will read again. You can correct it. Ammai. Ma has Mavati and Dirgam. Then Ya doesn't have anything, just E only. A, Amma. Like this. Uh, but uh, Dirgam should be there, like Abba, Ma. Bar. So it should be a long A. Yes. Yeah. Yes, now it's part. Papa or Ammai, girl Babu or a boy, boy, but 
these are the things we use in the spoken language. There is one more word for this one, which we use in the written language only. So, ammai means one word. Ammai balika. You can write that one also because when you read, but in, in bracket you can put used in written only, not used in spoken. Only written. Okay. Next one, baludu. Sometimes in stories you can say, "I baludi peru." So that is only in the written version. In the, the spoken part, we say "I abai peru" or "I babu peru" like that. Okay. So let's go back to the PDF. Uh, you were friend's daughter, so it's a question. Nings nehituri utura, like that. Okay. Um, here, uh, if you see the English sentence, you are friend's daughter, it's a question. That's why we have utura, means she, you are friend's daughter. That's the meaning. Okay. So, whenever we have like is, am, or these are the questions. The ending will be a sound. Okay. Snehituri kuturu. This is normal sentence. Friend's daughter. Is she friend's kutur? You are friend's kut, uh, friend's daughter. Then it will become me snehituri kutura like that. Okay. So let's make one more sentence. You are is is it your friend's car? Okay. Can can you go back and uh, type this sentence in English? Is it your friend's car? And try to translate. Is it your friend's car? Okay. Can you try to translate this one? Yeah, you are referring... Girl, okay, female. Okay. Uh, banda, yes, okay, it's fine. If you want to, say, you can also say kara, though both are fine, but you understand the concept, not, not, nothing to change. Yeah. So it's fine. Let's go to the next one. E papa evaru. E papa evaru. So that means uh, there is a meaning also in the next sentence, I think. No, they did not give. No, no, actually same. Okay, same here. Yes, please sit like that. Okay. So please sit means kurchondi. We add andi to show respect. Sit means just kurcho. Uh, papa adiyem pustakam. So if you look at here, we have the long vowel sound. Papa is just a name, just a noun. But when we say papa, like we are calling that papa, okay? We are calling that child, then we are asking something. So whenever you want to call someone, you need to use long vowel sound at the end of the name or the word what you are using, papa, babu, like that. Babu, like that you can call. Or any name, any name. But some names we cannot prolong, like, you know, my name, Praveen. <laughs> Praveen. Mm. This is half sound. We cannot know. But some names, your name also we cannot prolong. Uh, like uh, Amaravati, there is a name. Amaravati, we can call Amaravati like that. Aradhya, like that. Some names we can say, like, you know, they will understand we are calling them. When we prolong, that's the thing. Okay. Adi yem pustakam. What is that book? Okay. So here, Adi means that. Yem means what? Okay. Uh, there are some, uh, since we are in the context, I want to explain. Uh, some people get some doubts about yemity, yem, ent. Uh, is it clear for you or should I explain? I think it's pretty clear. Like, if okay. you're just saying like what is that then you could say adi andi the amity but mm -hmm. if you're 
actually specifying the object within that same sentence, then you would use either am or ami. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. 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 So amt is the full form. The short form is am or ant. These are the short forms we use sometimes. Okay. But one thing uh, we have to remember. We uh, never use the full form AMT or AMT at the beginning. Okay, if it is at the beginning, we must use AM. For example, what are you doing? AM chase to now. This is correct. But we don't say AMT chase to now or AMT chase to now. We don't say like that in naturally. AM is the. But if we want to use the word AMT, Mm, at the end, it's fine to use ENT or EMT. For example, what's your name? Nipir ENT or Nipir EMT. EMT, we don't use much in spoken language because in the spoken language, it's more common to compress, contract the words, like shorten, ENT, Nipir ENT, like that. Okay, next, Idina Telugu Pustakamandi. Idi, this is, uh, this is, is meaning not necessary. We don't take here. Na means my, Telugu Pustaka Mandi. And and Pustakam plus Andi. This is the combination word. Adi English Pustakam. That is my English book. Okay. Here, uh, the translation is not matching, but it's okay. My means na. Here, na should be there. But not, uh, they did not mention it's okay. Dani Pere Miti, what is its name? Yeah, uh, this is again possessive pronoun. It's Dani. Okay, so if it is subject, Adi or Idi. If it is possessive pronoun, Dani or Dini. That's the difference. Okay, Dani Pere Miti. Dani Pere Miti, whose name is Whose name, sir? Whose means Dini. Dini Peru. This ones. This ones means Dini. Telugu Pustakam Pera. The name of the Telugu book. Like that. Okay. Uh, is it the name of the Telugu book? Like that. Okay. Dini Peru Jawaharandi. It is Jawahar, sir. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Alaga, I see. Yeah, this is uh, one more uh, commonly used word. Whenever we want to say, I see. In Telugu, we say alaga. Is it? Is it also same meaning? Is it alaga like that? Okay. Idi yavari pustakam. Whose? Whose means yavari? Book means pustakam. Idi means this. Idi na pustakam. This is na pustakam kadandi. Yeah, so here we have negative sentence. Idi na pustakam kadandi. This is not my book. Okay, so let's make one more sentence, similar one. This is not my home. Can you try to translate? You can just say in words. No need to type because it's very simple. This is not Ida my home. Kadu. Okay, uh, if I say sir, uh, obviously we are giving respect, so you can say. Idi ma illu kadandi like that. Okay. So usually for home, instead of na, we use ma because it is like uh, the home Active for our position. family. So that's why even if there is a my word, we use the meaning of our. Idi ma illu kadandi like that. In Telugu, it is more. Okay. Idi na snehiturari pustakam. This is my friend's book. Yeah, as I mentioned before, friend apostrophe yes became snehiturali. Snehituralu, it is just friend. So snehiturali is like possessive form. Pustakam means book. My means na. Okay. Ni uh, snehiturali pere miti. What is your friend's name? So here also we have modification. Snehiturali peru emiti. Again, it is like more combination. If we say individually, Snehiturali, Peru, Yemiti. Peru, Yemiti. We can pair Yemiti, the spoken language. 
Next Girija. Uh, Ra Vinod. Come on, Vinod. So come on means like calling them. Ra. Atane Nasne Hitube Rakavarava. He is my friend Rakavarava. Uh, as I mentioned before, while showing a person, there are maybe three people. So we can show Atane. Then if I say Atadu doesn't sound good. That's why we Atadu doesn't sound good. So we are emphasizing not this person, not that person. Atane Nasne Hitude Rakavarava. My friend. Uh, that is his room. Again, while showing hand, that is his room. Maybe there are two three rooms. So he is emphasizing that is Ade, Ade, Ade Atanigali. So this emphasizing is more common in spoken language, like Ade, Atane, Itane, like that. Uh, Namaskaram, Andi. Namaskaram, sir. Okay, next Namaskaram, Iyana Peer, Iyana Yavaru Ramurti. Who is he? Who is he? Means Iyana Yavaru. Similarly, who is she means? Can you try? Okay, so Avida Yavaru. Ah, Avida Yavaru or Ime Yavaru. Okay. Itanu Telugu Vidyarthi. He is Telugu student. So student means Vidyarthi. Male student. Okay, male student. For female student, we will have knee ending. If she is female, we say Ime Telugu Vidyardini. Telugu Vidyardini, that is the difference. His name is Vinod. Atani Peru. Vinod. Okay. So his means Atani. Randi Kuchondi. Please come and sit. Okay. Uh, we have two sentences, two actions. Come and sit. Randi Kurchondi. Okay. This one we can say in other words, Vachi Kurchondi. Vachi Kurchondi. So, Ra is one word. Come. When there is and, we say, you know, there are some verbs in base form like Vachu, Vellu, Tinu. Okay, so for these verbs, we end with the E sound, then we say, we don't say the meaning of and, then we say the meaning of next word. Let's practice some more. Go and come. Can you write in the Google Docs? Okay. Go and come. Yeah, go and come. Veli Randi, yes, correct. So let's make one more sentence. Read and write. Uh, okay, write and read. Better first to write, then read like that. Rasi. Okay. So it means write and read. So these are the common structures we use in English. Okay, I think you are perfect in this. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Mm, next, Kurcho Vinod, Sit Vinod. Varu Yavarandi, who is he, sir? Okay, it's fine. Varu uh, Raghavarao Nanagaru. He is Raghavarao's father. Again, here nothing changed in the translation. It is as it is. Raghavarao Nanagaru. Vari Peru Sardigaru. Here we have the meaning. Okay, here I need to explain something. His is there. His means Atadi. Atadi. But in this context, uh, the writer, he wants to give respect to the person. So that's why they use the meaning of Deir, Vari. Okay, Vari, it gives respect. So Vari Peru Sarathi Garu, Vari Peru, yeah, like that. So similar, similar to Mi Peru, Mi Peru, right? If I want to give respect, I say Mi. Similarly, if I want, if he wants to give respect to the person, he can say Vari Peru instead of Atadi Peru. Atadi is equal status. 